have four brothers and a sister. My parents were hardworking people. We had a very happy childhood. I find they continue to support me day by day. When I came to Grand Rapids and I was seeking to come to the Grand Rapids Dominicans, there was nothing but support also. The Grand Rapids Dominicans are really um, gospel people. So, so am I, trying to search out what it is we need to do. Who is my neighbor? I came to Dwelling Place after um, a six-year stint of leadership with the Grand Rapids Dominicans. I really signed up to be an intern in Denver, Colorado with Mercy Housing. And uh, after about three months, Dwelling Place said, why are you going to Denver? And I said, well, make me an offer I can't refuse, and the rest is history. Sometimes people think about housing as changing lives, but it does change communities. We have many examples um, here at Dwelling Place where putting up affordable housing and inviting people to come and live changes the neighborhood, changes the relationships. It adds economic stimulus to an area. I love Grand Rapids and I just think growing the city is part of housing development. About um, seven or eight years ago, the Y came to Dwelling Place. They asked us to help them find um, some transitional housing opportunities. So we were able to work with them to do that project and um, then they were able to get the services and get people back on their feet. Because you know, sometimes when people come to housing, in order to remain housed, they need help. Just two days ago, I was over at the, one of our apartment buildings and one of the gentlemen invited me in to see his new apartment. And in the process, he told his own story of how he was very suicidal, depressed most of the time, and that he was so proud to show me his apartment. And he said, you know, I don't have any thoughts of suicide. I have made friends here. This is my home. To me, that's a success story. That's changing lives. That's changing lives. A poet, her name is Mary Oliver, and she has this wonderful poem called Summer Day. And she ends it with, what are your plans for your wild and precious life? I have a one wild and precious life. And I can't think of a better way to spend it than to support people in trying to get on their feet and move forward in their lives, embrace the, the wholeness that is theirs.